Hi everyone, today's video I'm going to be showing you how I prep the treatment room for a facial service. I always like to start off by wiping off and disinfecting the facial bed. I like to gather my implements and supplies in a bowl for my facials. So I do have a towel that I use to wipe down my hands and inside the bowl are all of the items that I need for a facial. I have a fan brush, my spatulas, I use three spatulas, the headband, eye goggles, aesthetic wipes, two by twos, about five of them, my lip doe foot applicator, two iPad cotton rounds, and two sponges. I tend to cover up the bowl just so nothing gets dust and debris inside of it right before I'm about to um, service someone. Then I go through all of my items regarding face masks and sanitizing my hands is a must between everything that I do. So my hands are super, super dry from this, but it is definitely worth it. At this point, I've already prepped the barbicide solution and you'll see me go ahead and replenish the face masks that needed it. Um, I do always check to make sure that my hand sanitizer machine is working, that it's not sputting out any hand sanitizer. I check my temperature and keep a log of it as well. And then I also like to wipe everything down with a nice um, paper towel just so that it grabs all of the dirt and debris, dust and everything like that and cleans it up. I also have this brand new um, honeybee pin that my sister gave me. It's super cute and I feel like it ties my whole uniform together. So cute. Once the bed is dry is when I'll dress it up. Um, I do use a twin flat sheet in the color black. Um, I might just change these out later on in the future, but for now this is what I have. And these work really well with keeping my clients nice and wrapped up like a little burrito on my table. So I like to prep the bed and make sure there is no um, lint or any like I don't know, like fibers of anything on the bed sheet because that is not a good look. So then I will go ahead and fix it up, make sure it's not dragging on the floor. The next step can be avoided if you have lighter colored sheets, but I don't. So I will actually take a lint roller and just clean off the bed sheet because I do use a washer dryer that is shared with hair stylists so sometimes there's a lot of lint stuck on the bed sheet and so I don't want to leave that for my guests to see so I just lint roll. Now is the time that I like to put on the actual warm blanket. And I like to set it up at a diagonal angle just so that it's easy for me to wrap my guests with later on. And then I also put down a towel wrap for them to wear. And prep the head wrap. I usually have a towel under, but this is what it looks like. This is super inviting for anyone to see. And it also looks super cute when all the lights are off and the shade is down. It really does set the vibe for a nice, warm, welcoming, and relaxing environment for anyone getting a service done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified when I have brand new videos up and ready for you to see. Um, for those of you that have been on this journey with me, thank you so much for all your love and support. It does not go unnoticed. If you have any recommendations or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comments box below. That way I know what content I can give you guys. Thank you all. Mwah.